Okay, that being the finished look, basically, is what it's going to look like, except I'll put some kind of cover over there so I don't suck my pants into the into those uh, pulleys. But yeah, it should look pretty good. It sits high enough off the frame. I have lots of room for batteries, so if I can run 24 volts off, say, 8 12 volt batteries, drill batteries, I should be okay. 8 ought to push it. I ran a 12 volt on it and it sucked the juice out of it in about 30 seconds. A regular 12 volt DeWalt. Or actually it was a Black & Decker. Anyway, should look pretty good when it's done. Got the chain all hooked up. It's just screwed on right now with wood screws so they're going to have to change. I'm not finished yet. I'm going to probably put thicker lag bolts even before I start. There's a metal plate underneath. If I can, I'll put the two bolts on the sprocket side right through the metal and that ought to hold it in place really well. And that should hold it good. The only thing that's not really anchored well, it only has two screws in it right now, is, uh, is the motor itself. So we'll see what I'm going to do about that. But so good so far. Here's the thing I butchered. This belt might even fit. I want to put a tensioner on it if I can. But this piece here is where I took the sprocket off. So I still got the whole housing. It fits onto this motor here. And yeah. Throw a few lights on there. The back lights actually work. So that's good. And I have levers with switches and stuff for the brake and and whatnot. And we'll see how it goes. Got a rusty old horn under there. But I didn't have mom's old Cadillac horn. But yeah, this puppy's a 12 volt motor. 12 volt DC. And I don't know how many amps it is, but like I said, it sucked the juice out of a 12 volt pretty fast. You can... Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's coming along. Okay.